Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing my July book haul. I have over 30 books again. I'm drowning in books. It's so many books. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it because there's a lot of things to get through. <laughs> so the first three that I want to show you are from Book of the Month. If you didn't know, I'm an ambassador for Book of the Month, so they send me three of their selections every month to promote on my social medias. The first one I wanted to show you from them is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. This is his new thriller horror novel and I did read this one this month. It was freaking lit. And it's basically a novel that takes place inside of this weird, creepy, kind of haunted apartment building. And there's all this history about it being cursed. And then this girl moves in to the new apartment building and they're paying her to live there, which is like kind of suspicious and shady. And then some weird shit starts going on in there and it's crazy and it's so good. The next one I got is Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. This one is a contemporary romance novel that follows this female firefighter and she picks up her whole life and moves to Boston. She starts working at this old school Boston firehouse and starts to fall for one of the other firefighters there. And like, I haven't read this yet, but oh my god, dude, this description, like, I need it. Like, a female firefighter with another firefighter and it takes place in Boston. Like, cute! I can't wait to read this one. And then the next one I got is The Gifted School by Bruce Halsinger. And this one is described as like a, I think it's like a contemporary, but almost like literary fiction book about this school who has all these like gifted students and like their families and the privilege and whatever and it's described kind of like as a big little lies situation it's about their competitiveness over this school for their children and it just sounds really interesting like i really want to read this one soon as well <laughs> all right the next stack that i want to show you is all books from book sparks i'm an ambassador for their Thing that they're doing this summer for book fest so they, they've sent me a quite a bit of books this summer which i'm really happy about one i was most excited to receive is a stranger on the beach by michelle campbell this one is an adult thriller and it's mainly about this girl who is in this dicey marriage and she finds out her husband's cheating on her and then she randomly sees this stranger on their beach like they live on the beach and then the story just kind of really takes off from there and i did read this one this month so you'll hear about it in my wrap-up they also sent i know everything by matthew farrell this one is an adult thriller along with the escape room by megan golden this one's also an adult thriller and i think i've actually heard a lot of really good things about this one but i'm really excited to read both of these soon probably this one more excited about it but yeah and then they sent the last list of miss judith kratt and this one apparently is kind of like a fiction mystery fiction that takes place in the south with family secrets and things and then they sent the enlightenment of bees by rachel linden and the last book party by karen dukas this one takes place in new york in the summer of 1987 and it's about this girl trying to get this writing job. It says it's a page-turning coming-of-age story written with a lyrical sense of place. And I'm honestly just excited to read it because it takes place in New York. Like, that automatically makes me intrigued. And it's in the 80s, and it's about a writer. Like, okay, sign me up. And then The Enlightenment of Bees just says it's about a romantic adventure across the globe. And it explores what it means to find the sweet spot in life where our greatest passions meet the world's greatest need. All right, next up, Gallery Books sent me Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. And this was so unexpected because I had no idea that I was getting this in the mail. And so I kind of flipped my shit when I realized that I got an arc of this book. This is their latest romance novel. It comes out October 22nd. I want to say this one's closer to like an adult romance novel. It follows this girl who's this actress and her first love reconnecting. And I did read this one this month. You'll hear about it in my wrap up. <laughs> Next up, Penguin Random House sent Evie Drake Starts Over by Linda Holmes. This one follows this girl, Evie Drake, whose husband recently died. And so she's kind of like in a rut. It's kind of this romance between her and this retired Major League Baseball player who her best friend Andy is really close with and he moves into her house for the summer. This one was really cute. I did read this one this month. You'll hear about it in my wrap up. They also sent Wander Wanderers by Chuck Wendig. This book is hella thick. I'm really excited about this one because it's this sci-fi novel about these people who are sleepwalking and they won't wake up. And then there's like many, many people sleepwalking and not waking up. And it's like an apocalyptic situation too, I think. And I don't know, but it's categorized as sci-fi and like post-apocalyptic. So like, I'm very interested in this. And I've seen a lot of people giving it really great reviews. I don't know, I'm excited about it though, so ah. 
Right, the next book came from Avid Reader Press, and that is Three Women by Lisa Tadillo. And this one is a nonfiction novel. I believe this one was also a book of the month selection for the month of July. It just says in here, a riveting true story about the sex lives of three real American women based on nearly a decade of reporting. And this one just sounds really powerful. Like I actually do really want to read this soon. I don't read a ton of nonfiction, but this one really stands out to me as something special and I just really want to read it soon. Right, the next books I received are all from Scribner. They sent me a fat stack of books this month. The one that I'm most excited about is this book, The Crossed Out Notebook. This one is an ARC that goes on sale in September, September 24th. This one is a thriller novel, I believe, and it's about this screenwriter getting abducted by the greatest Latin American film director of all time, and he's being held captive in his basement, being forced to write the next great screenplay. Like, what? It just sounds so cool. So I'm like hoping that it's really great. I mean, that description alone sounds so cool. So I'm maybe planning on reading this one soon. These other books that they sent were all part of this like gift summer package thing that they sent my way. So the first one is His Favorites by Kate Walbert. The next one is Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Next up we have Dear Miss Bird by A.J. Pierce, which they have sent me before. I believe they sent me an arc of this one a while ago. And then they sent Lie With Me by Felipe Besson. I also received this book as an ARC and I really enjoyed it when I read it, so cool. And then they also sent The Peach Truck Cookbook. And this one is a really cute cookbook that is all things like related to peaches. So like every single recipe in this has something to do with peaches, which is great because I love peaches. The next one came from Simon Books and that is The Need by Helen Phillips. And I'm really excited about this book. I had never heard of it before I just received it in the mail, but it says it's a speculative thriller about this mom and her two young daughters. And then there's a stranger in the house, like an intruder is in the house. And that's pretty much all I need to know about this before jumping in because I'm so excited by that premise alone. And I love the fact that it says it's a speculative thriller, which means it makes me feel like there's gonna be even more to the story or like it might have some kind of weird ambiguous ending or thing about it. And I'm just really like really excited about it. So I'm really hoping to read this one very soon. So next up, Simon and Schuster sent Hot Dog Girl by Jennifer Dugan. They sent me this one as a promotional sponsor thing that they were doing for International Hot Dog Day. So they wanted to post on Instagram for it. And I was like, I mean, why not? And this is like a really cute cover. Like it's just so cute. Look at it. This one is a young adult contemporary novel and she is she has landed this job at this park, at this theme park as a giant dancing hot dog. Yeah, and then it's like this coming of age romance novel as well and it sounds cute. So <laughs> thanks to Simon & Schuster for this. Next up, Berkeley sent me three books. The first one is Ellie and the Harp Maker. The next one is the TV cover for Big Little Lies. I like legit could not resist getting this because I already own Big Little Lies. But I was like, I want the TV cover. The one with Meryl Streep and Reese Witherspoon on it. Oh my God. And then the last one they sent is The Friends We Keep by Jane Green. This one is like a contemporary fiction story about this family and these friends. And it says, The Friends We Keep is about how despite disappointments we've had or mistakes we've made, it's never too late to find a place called home. Ellie and the Heartmaker is actually an arc. This one comes out August 6th. And it says, a rich, heartwarming, and charming debut novel that reminds us that sometimes you don't find love, love finds you. Next up, Chris Jill and his team sent me The Nowhere by Chris Jill. And this is a young adult mystery coming of age novel about these two young boys in Australia. And it's LGBT, the main character is gay. I did read this book, so you'll hear more about it in my wrap up. All right, and next up, Ghost Scribbler sent me this book, Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Ghost Scribbler is like this monthly subscription box service that is for writers, which is really cool because it's targeted towards aspiring writers. And so they send you a box of a book and a bunch of goodies that are like great for writers. But it's really cool because I've never seen a subscription service box that's targeted towards writers as opposed to readers. So that's really interesting. Uh, but they sent this book and this one is a young adult fantasy, I believe. It says something about gargoyle protectors, rising demons, and one girl with an explosive secret. 
Maybe I can read this one day for a reading books outside of my comfort zone video. <laughs> Alright, and the last stack of books is all books that I bought for myself this month. I actually did buy quite a few books for myself this month. These first two books were books that I bought hella cheap at Value Village, and that is The Mothers by Britt Bennett and The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And this one is a debut novel that just sounds really cute and really beautiful. And it's a literary fiction novel. And then The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, I just kind of like spontaneously bought because I've heard a lot of really great things about this. And I thought, even though this is a young adult fantasy, I just thought maybe I could read this book in an upcoming books outside of my comfort zone video. So maybe that'll happen with this. I also forgot to mention that my friend and coworker Liz gifted me this book, Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. This one is a nonfiction motivational book, which usually isn't my thing, but I'm actually interested in reading this one. So I'm probably gonna be reading this one in August. All right, next up off of Amazon, I got Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is the one that I bought for reading books outside of my comfort zone. I did attempt to read this one in the video that I just put out this month. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. I also got The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. This one is a contemporary romance novel that I'm planning on reading during the reading rush. So very, very soon, very excited about it. And then I also got City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. This one is a historical fiction novel that's kind of being compared to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So I'm dying to read this really excited about it i haven't started it yet because it's kind of like hefty it's like almost 500 pages this is one that i'm planning on probably reading in august too i'm just oh i'm so excited about it the next one i got is tell me how you really feel and this is one that i got at my local independent bookstore this one is a young adult female female romance and it's like hate to love romance and i read this one this month and it was so freaking cute you guys it was a five star book for me You'll hear more about it in my wrap up. And then the last two books that I got this month were Scythe and Thunderhead. <laughs> Originally got this one at the same time as I got this one at the independent bookstore. And I read this book during my reading books outside of my comfort zone video. And I loved the holy shit out of it. Like it totally blew away my expectations in my mind. And I just never thought that I would love this book the way that I do. So I immediately ordered the sequel off of Amazon. Like as soon as I finished reading this, I was just like, boom, order. Yeah, this is the sequel. This is a young adult dystopian sci-fi kind of fantasy series. This world where it takes place in the way future when we have conquered death and people are living immortally now, but we have an issue because the world is overpopulated. So these people called scythes kill people for a living and they randomly choose people to kill. It's a completely random process. And it's just insane. Like this world is just so cool. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping to read Thunderhead first thing in August. I know I said that about a lot of these books, but this one will probably be the very first thing I read after the reading rush. Like I'm just so excited to read this. Hello again, real quick. This is me from the future. Um, I just went out to dinner and I went to the bookstore. If I didn't already, you know, have enough books in this haul, I just decided to get one more while I was at Barnes and Noble. And that is All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn. Greenwood and this book has been on my TBR for a really long time actually, but I never owned it And then after I did romance-a-thon everybody was telling me to read this because it's apparently a really great forbidden romance And it just sounds like something I would really enjoy So I just went ahead and got it because why not and the cover is really beautiful I also while I was there got this really cute 2020 planner and it has cacti on it. I just really wanted something that would fit in my backpack and that I can just put work related stuff in here that I don't so I don't forget and then like booktube related stuff and Instagram related stuff. Those are all the books that I hauled in July. Dude, I just realized on this I Know Everything book when you take off the thing, oh, it's like continued onto the hardcover. Isn't that beautiful? Holy shit. If you see any of your favorites in here that I haven't read yet, let me know. Or if I have read it, then let's fangirl over it together. How many books did you haul in the month of July? And are you participating in the reading rush this week? Let me know about that. You'll probably see my first vlogs from the reading rush hopefully get uploaded on Thursday. But if not, then they'll be posted about a week from today if I end up doing it all together. I'm not too sure how it's gonna go yet. But thank you for watching as always. Thank you so, 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 so much. I will see you guys soon with a new video.